And this ministry of encouragement must continue. And this ministry must not lose heart. And as Jane has uh, 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 encouraged us, it must become an invitational ministry. This week, I ask you to be especially sensitive to the need for encouragement that you meet in others. It might be a child who needs a praising word instead of a critical judgment. Perhaps it's your spouse who is feeling low in spirit and, he, and who needs to know that your strong love is always there. It could be a friend who has been knocked down by an experience that was unexpected, who needs your strength to help him or her in this time of need. Or perhaps it's even a stranger. If you meet someone this week in dire need, encourage that person. Encourage that one who's down on their lot in life. Offer them the friendship of this church, which has a heart of courage for this city. Believe in your heart that God called you to a ministry of encouragement for one another. I had a wonderful parishioner when I was serving Londonderry United Methodist Church. Her name was Mary Helen and she coached the girls track team. Quite often the girls would be discouraged and they would come to her and they'd say, Coach, I, I just haven't got it. I don't think I will ever get it. So before the next track meet, Mary Helen made up some cards and some, with some pins that they could attach to their running shorts. And the cards simply said, It. It. And Mary Helen said to them, There. Now you've got it. Keep working hard to improve your time. You got it within you. You got it. Jesus said to his disciples, Fear not, little flock, for your Father has pleased to give you the kingdom. In fact, you have it within you. You've got it within you. So, my friends, let your heart take courage. Be a source of encouragement to someone else. And always, always hope in God. Amen.